massive PB, 1.4205. Talk to me about that. And also world lead. Uh, issue I'm happy about it. It was not this regular the way you saw it, you know. Uh, I knew there were some guys behind. And I asked to push all the way, you know. Uh, I can say that's a great achievement for me. Because I've been working for it, so. Yeah. What's, what, what comes next for you this season? Uh, what I'm just aiming maybe 141, which I'll be so much grateful for that. So my aim now is to go for 141 for the end of this year and I'll appreciate it, you know. Would you be going to the African Championships at all? Uh, yeah, I have African Championships next week. Yeah, so on first we have African Championship, then I still have like a Birmingham Damo League in the last process. So all of a sudden now you become the man to beat in this event. Uh, actually, it's not easy. I, I'm happy for it, you know. The more you, you have, you know, achievement, you have to appreciate it, you know. I like running and I'm still going for it. Yeah. In the past, a lot of African top athletes have been accused of not going to the African Championships. How important is it for you to go to these Championships? Uh, actually, you know, because they are selecting, you know, one, two to represent the continent. So I hope, you know, I'll be one. To represent my continent, you know, in Africa. Surely there was, surely Kenya will select you after what you did here today. Uh, actually, you know, I know it's sometimes hard, you know, to achieve something like that. But you know, as time comes, I know I'm going to make, you know, better. Yeah. What comes next for you? I mean, next year is a big year, <coughs> World Championships. What are you looking forward to there, and who, 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 who's, where, where's the danger going to come from? Who's the threat to you? Uh, I'm not afraid of anybody else. I know I got speed, and I know I have enough endurance, you know, to beat these guys. And I'm sure I'm still going to make for, you know, much better. I'm going to do some weights, go for long runs, and a lot of speed work, you know. So I know I'll be strong more than everybody next to you. That's a big statement. You're really confident, aren't you? Yeah, thank you. Um, what do you do in your downtime when you're not running or training? What do you do? Please enlighten us. Uh, you know, I'm still a student. Uh, I'm a student at the University of Texas uh, in USA, El Paso. So I take much of my time, you know, studying, uh, doing a lot of assignments, you know, going to classes. Such a kind of stuff, you know. Apart from, you know, obviously having a strong culture, of, you know, belonging to Kenya, who are known for, you know, distance from 800 meters above what part has the collegiate you know the NCAA played in your development athletics wise uh, I'm sure if it was not uh, because of my coach if it was not for the scholarship that they gave me in USA uh, maybe it would have been you know difficult for me to get into this great achievement so uh, I think you know a uh, scholarship that they gave me quite that I got you know for those past days past years as make me a credit man, you know, right now. How difficult is it to combine studies with competing? I can't like, can't say anything because it depends actually. If you are setting your mind to do this and this and you are happy for it, you will make it. But you know, if you allow your mind, you know, so you allow some difficulties in your mind, you know, you get a lot of trouble. So I feel I'm okay with my studies. I feel I'm okay when I go to my training. I don't feel any pressure at all. Thank you very much for your time.